Hello and welcome back to our Basics of Supply Chain series. In today's episode, we're diving into one of the most fascinating tools used to understand how supply chains operate and the dynamics that drive them, the beer game. Now, if you're wondering, what's a beer game, you're not alone. This game is one of the best ways to grasp the concepts of supply chain management. But before we jump into the details, let's take a quick look at the history behind it. The beer game was developed in 1960 by Jay Forrester, a professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT. Originally created as part of a research project for his System Dynamics course, the game was designed to help students understand the intricacies of supply chain dynamics, especially the challenges related to inventory management and decision-making. Forrester's work led to the development of System Dynamics, a methodology that focuses on understanding the behavior of complex systems over time. And through this game, he introduced one of the most critical concepts in supply chain management, the bullwhip effect. The main objective of the beer game is to demonstrate how small fluctuations in demand at the consumer level can cause massive inventory swings across the entire supply chain. Participants in the game will learn how their decisions can lead to inefficiencies like overstocking or stockouts, resulting in a bullwhip effect, a term coined to describe the phenomenon where small changes in consumer demand lead to larger fluctuations as you move up the supply chain. Let's now look at how the beer game is set up. The game is usually played with four teams, each representing a different stage in the supply chain. The roles are divided as follows. 1. Retailer. The person responsible for receiving customer orders and sending products to the customer. 2. Wholesaler. The middleman who receives orders from the retailer and places larger orders with the distributor. 3. Distributor. This team handles the movement of products to the wholesaler and places large orders with the factory. 4. Factory, the team that produces the beer and sends it to the distributor based on incoming orders. Each team has its own set of supplies, a small inventory, and access to an order book to track their decisions. In the simplest version, the game uses tokens or chips to represent beer cases and a series of time units to simulate delays in shipments. Players work to manage their inventory and respond to changes in customer demand. Here's how the game is played step-by-step, step, stage one, initial setup. Each team starts with a small inventory. The game simulates an order from the consumer, and each team is tasked with fulfilling that order. The retailer may receive a spike in demand, perhaps because of a special promotion. Stage two, ordering process. As the retailer responds to this demand, they send their order to the wholesaler. The wholesaler does the same, ordering from the distributor, and so on, up the chain. However, due to the delayed feedback loops in the system, the teams cannot immediately see the consequences of their orders. Stage 3. Adjusting to changes. As the game continues, each team adjusts their order based on what they think the next level in the chain is doing. However, these adjustments, often made in response to perceived shortages or surpluses, typically end up exacerbating the problem. Stage 4. The impact of the bullwhip effect. Over time, small fluctuations in demand at the consumer level snowball into significant inventory fluctuations. This can result in severe overstocking at some points and stockouts at others, causing costly inefficiencies. The bullwhip effect is perhaps the most important concept the beer game illustrates. As demand fluctuates, each team makes decisions based on limited and delayed information leading to amplified demand fluctuations as you move upstream through the supply chain. For example, a small increase in consumer demand can lead the retailer to order more from the wholesaler. The wholesaler, seeing the increased order, might overcompensate by placing an even larger order with the distributor. This causes the distributor to stock up excessively, thinking demand will continue to rise and so on. In reality, these exaggerated responses to perceived demand shifts lead to inefficiencies like excess inventory, storage costs, and wasted production capacity. So, how can we overcome the bullwhip effect? First, better information flow. The first step is sharing information across all levels of the supply chain. 
If every participant has visibility into real-time demand and inventory levels, they can make more informed decisions and reduce the knee-jerk reactions to perceived fluctuations. Next, smarter ordering systems. Implementing more sophisticated ordering systems that account for lead time and production schedules can help smooth out ordering patterns. Third, collaborative planning. Teams need to work together and develop collaborative forecasting and planning methods. By syncing their operations and aligning with actual demand, they can significantly reduce the impact of demand variability. Lastly, using technology. With modern tools like supply chain management software, artificial intelligence and machine learning, today's supply chains are much more capable of managing fluctuations and minimizing the bullwhip effect. The beer game remains as relevant today as it was in the 1960s but it's now even more significant given the advancements in technology. With the advent of technologies like cloud computing, Internet of Things and real-time data analytics, supply chain managers today can track inventory and consumer demand with much more precision. These technologies facilitate faster information flow, reduce the risk of overstocking or understocking, and help companies make quicker, more accurate decisions. Moreover, integrated systems allow for better forecasting and collaboration, which can minimize disruptions and reduce costs, something that Forrester likely couldn't have imagined when he first created the beer game. So there you have it. The beer game is a timeless tool that helps us understand the complexities of supply chain dynamics, from inventory management to the bullwhip effect. By improving communication, leveraging modern technologies, and working collaboratively, we can create more resilient and efficient supply chains. Thanks for watching today's episode of the Basics of Supply Chain series. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep learning with us. Until next time, stay ahead in the supply chain world.